Hey guys, it's Madison. Thanks for joining me in this faithful home. So I'm super excited today because I'm in my brother's house for another Flip This House project. So today, obviously you can see behind me, I am in the bathroom slash laundry room area. This is the only bathroom in the house. And then you can obviously see right there, the washer dryer hookups are over there for this bathroom. But today, for today's video, I am going to be resurfacing his bathtub shower. Right now, you may or may not be able to see it in camera because lighting on this camera is actually super nice. So the shower bathtub doesn't look as yellow and cringy, but if you can picture outdated yellow bathtub, that's what we got going on behind me right now. So I'm gonna use this product right here. It's Rust-Oleum's Tub and Tile Spray. Let me focus in on that for you. So we are gonna use this spray today to resurface this tub and shower and give it a good facelift because we're redoing this entire bathroom, we're redoing the entire house. And so my brother was like, hey, we're doing all this work for the whole house. Can we fix up the tub and shower and make it not ugly and yellow? So sure. I went online, did some research, found this product. I'm excited to try it out. Today I'm gonna to take you through the process of this and we'll do a before and after of the shower area specifically. And then make sure you're checking back every Saturday because there will be different videos of different projects we're doing throughout the entire house posted every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern on this channel. So be looking out for that. If there are already videos that were posted, I'm not sure what the order this is going to be posted in is. So if there are already videos that are posted for this Flip This House series, I will link the entire playlist down below that way you can go watch those different ones. And then soon we will have a video of the final bathroom reveal, which will show fixing up this laundry room area and fixing up the entire bathroom, giving it a good DIY facelift. So if you are not already subscribed, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button so that you can feel welcomed into this faithful home with me. I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern, so make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss a single video. And without further ado, because my arm get, is getting tired from holding this camera, let's go ahead and set it on the tripod so that I can prep this tub shower combo to get sprayed. All right, guys, you're set up on the tripod now. That way I can, you know, use my hands and do the things. But I will first mention that the first step in this project is actually going to clean the shower tub. But since it's my brother's house, he already went ahead and did that like yesterday or the day before. So everything is really clean already here. He went in and scrubbed really well. So the next step that we need to do is take this sandpaper. So I got like a sanding block at Lowe's. That way he has the sanding block, you know, an extra sandpaper for later. And what we need to do is give a nice good sanding to this entire area. So insert time-lapse now. lapse of me sanding it and it probably looked a whole lot easier on video than it did in person. I definitely just got a workout. My forearms are tired. But nonetheless, now I have a spray bottle. It has pretty much mostly water. There's a tiny bit of bleach and then a like a third of a cap full of the Thieves cleaner. Mostly just the water. I have a rag. I'm gonna go ahead and spray down this entire tub and wipe it down really good and then it'll have to dry for that 90 minutes before I can take a tap cloth to it to get the rest of the dust off and then we can spray. So another time lapse now. It 
it's all clean, it's sprayed down, it has to dry per the instructions for an hour and a half to make sure that any water is really, really dried off here. I will check back with you guys in an hour and a half. All right guys, it's been an hour and a half of me patiently waiting to be able to do this. I have a rag that I'm gonna wipe down just the initial base of the shower and everything first. And then I got this from the store. Let's see if it'll focus. It's called Tack Cloth. And I read reviews on it that said it is good for getting like all the dust particles and everything from what we sanded down off of there. That way it's a good clean surface for us to spray. So wiping it, wiping it with the tack cloth, and then we will be ready to spray paint this. And I'm super excited. why it's called tack cloth now. It's tacky and sticky. Ooh. Warning if you're using tack cloth. It's really weird, but it's supposed to pull apart. I guess it makes sense. It's sticky so it'll get all the dust particles off, but it's really gross feeling. Okay. Close enough. All right, we'll roll with it. work it's the name it's gross my hands are gross so I gotta go wash but it definitely worked I don't think you can tell in the video but it worked like there's definitely dust on it let me go wash my hands and we'll start spraying all right so I'm gonna try to find a balance of getting a good camera angle for you guys and not running the risk of messing up my super nice camera with overspray. So I'm gonna leave you at this angle right here and hopefully you'll get a good idea. Maybe I'll try to get a couple clips of it. But first thing first, protective gear for me, I'm going to put on some thick gloves. And I also have David's mask that I brought over. That way while I'm spraying, I at least am not taking in too much of the fumes. You should have a nice open area and well ventilated. So the bedroom door is open, the windows open, the fan is here next to me and I'll hit start once I start recording and hopefully that'll help. But basically, I will take this can, shake it up really well and seal that all that you hear in all spray paint cans kind of goes away. And once it's mixed up, I will do a light, even coat on the entire thing. Wish me luck. I was definitely glad that I had that mask because, whoa, the fumes are super strong in here. I'll try to pan around to show you like the first coat. It already looks night and day different. I'm gonna gag if I'm in here any longer. So I have to let it dry for at least 15 minutes. I'm gonna work on another project, come back, and then it says we can do like two to three light coats. So that's what we'll do. Hopefully it'll cover well. I think it already looks amazing though. So let me show you kind of a little overview of it. Okay, it's kind of hard to see because it is trying to autofocus, but you can tell that there's a good solid coat on there. Guys, it's the next day and we need to chat for a sec. So I got a little bit frustrated and didn't film anything else yesterday. Like I probably inserted like a little caption for you in between filming this, but overspray was the death of me yesterday. Basically what had happened is the first couple cans of the spray that I used, the overspray was like not bad at all. And then the second two cans that I used, it went everywhere. It was all over the floor. It was like it had trailed into the bedroom. And so I guess, cause I had the fan on, all the particles got into the air, 
went into the bedroom and like the entire floor was coated in the spray. So thankfully my husband brought over some mineral spirits and my mom, my husband and I like deep cleaned the both rooms. So everything is looking good again, thankfully. But a tip for you guys so that you don't make this mistake. One, make sure you really, really tarp everything, which, which I did for the most part, but we needed ventilation. So I didn't want to tape off the bathroom itself leading into the bedroom. So there was one mistake. Oh, well, learning from it. And two, if you get overspray on anything or you have like tough stuff that you try to get up, use mineral spirits. It literally is like magic. It came up like instantly. Don't let it dry. Make sure that you get the mineral spirits on as quickly as possible. Wring out your towel in the sink and then keep going and it'll be a miracle worker. So with that being said, it is a new day. We are back today. I have to take off just a little bit of the remaining tape because I'd already taken off most of it just off camera frustrated. So I'm ready to show you guys what this bathtub looks like now that it is beautiful and white and it is super pretty. And so let's take off the remaining tape and we'll show you the reveal. All right guys, super excited for the final reveal of this bathtub. I am pretty stoked for how it turned out considering it's the first time I've ever even painted a bathtub before, nor did I really even think about the fact that we could do that. So we're really, really excited with how it looks. This is just the beginning of this entire bathroom transformation. You can already tell like, mm, oof, it's looking so good especially right now when I insert some B-roll of you seeing the before, the complete before, and then to what it looks like right now. Guys, it's night and day different. I am so, so excited to get this whole bathroom project done and revealed for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to check down in the description box below for the entire Flip This House series. I'm really excited. I hope you guys are too. If you aren't already subscribed, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button so that you can feel welcomed into this faithful home with me. Remember, I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern, so I will check back with you guys in another video soon. Bye, guys.